In the last 24 hours, I vibe coded an entire website builder for people who want to start run clubs. And I don't have anyone to share it with, so I figured I would share it with you guys and walk through my thought process and why I think this actually marks a new frontier of building directories. But first, let me walk you through why I did this and what problem I'm solving, how it's gonna be monetized, and the entire vision for this. The idea actually came last night and I spontaneously started to build and just vibe code well into the early morning. But the bigger picture idea here is that for a few months now I've been really wanting to build something a directory that brought people together in real life and I believe that this is gonna be a space that's just gonna grow for years to come it's gonna be continuously very difficult for humans to meet each other I wanted to use all of the knowledge that I've gained from building directories for the last few years to do something that I think actually will exist in 10 years 20 years and that kind of stuff the problem is that a lot of these directories that exist today that bring people together in real life are are centered around you know things to do and that's kind of the keyword they target things to do Los Angeles things to do New York and that's where you get Eventbrite and that's how you get a bunch of other small directories that are localized to specific cities and I just didn't want to do that that sounded kind of boring wouldn't really know how to monetize that to be honest like my gut intuition told me that that wasn't it it just didn't spark any joy. And I think this is a very broken part of modern society where it's very difficult to find ways to actually meet other humans, but they do exist out there. And that's when I remember watching this clip from Gary Vee. There's gonna be businesses in 20 years where like people are gonna charge you to like take a walk with them and you're gonna pay real money for it. Watching this clip, it made me realize that I might even be interested in purchasing a walking buddy for an hour in the future. I could see that happening. And then I thought, what if I started one of these walking clubs locally? And then I realized run clubs. Run clubs are super popular here in LA and they are seemingly just everywhere now. What if there's a problem to be solved in that niche? So of course I checked the data first and I see that over 100,000 people every month are looking up some form of run club. There's some really famous run clubs apparently. Diplo has a run club that's being searched 3,000 times a month. But this was enough for me to be like, okay, yeah, there's probably opportunity here. And then I just went through my motions and I looked on Reddit to see if anyone was talking about starting one of these run clubs. And I found tons of conversations from people who want to start a local run club and just didn't know where to start. So I'm reading through these forums. I even see one where someone mentions build a community, be more than just a coffee shop, have your website and Instagram or WhatsApp group. A lot of people also say that social media is how they promote their run clubs. And oftentimes they can grow really quickly. Just going through these comments had me thinking there are so many people in a concentrated niche who are willing to take the initiative and start a local run club who's serving these people and what resources are out there to make it frictionless for these people to start their run club so i looked up run club software and that's when i found springly.org 533 reviews 4.8 stars the best running club software in 2024 so this software is used by a lot of nonprofits who throw 5ks half marathons marathon events and it helps them manage their running club now 45 dollars is pretty steep for anyone who's just trying to start a local run club and looking at the features here it got me curious what if i could just vibe code all of these features and create this website builder for people who want to start their local run clubs and then layer a directory on top of that and that's what i've been doing for the last 24 hours so all of these thoughts and this research happened last night at around 10 p.m it's been 24 hours it's about 10 p.m right now and this is the website builder that i created and i'll just quickly kind of highlight some of the main features because truthfully i don't even know all the features that i vibe coded i've just been vibe coding like a maniac for i don't know eight hours today and i think i did three or four hours of vibe coding last night let me start from the top so you can kind of see the full vision this is the home page and you have two options you can find clubs near me or start a club the directory site is obviously unfinished so i will have to work on that but people can start their own run club here and it'll walk you through the process of creating an account after that you can hit up your dashboard and this is where you can actually create your new club so i created one called phrase run club and there are all these stats that you can see some instructions on building your website a registration form you can set up payments connect your instagram and and there's just a bunch of cool stuff here. But the main thing that I spent my time on is this website builder. And I was honestly like kind of mind blown at what I could create in 24 hours. It's not going to be the most beautiful thing that you will ever see, obviously. But keep in mind, everything that I'm about to show you was vibe coded in literally 24 hours. So just to explain how this works, if you do want to go and start your own run club, you can come here and build your own website, which I've done right over here. And it's not actually a standalone website on your own domain. It's just an extension to 
my website and you get your own URL slug. This one's a phrase run club. This was all by design because when someone starts to promote their run club on social media, ideally they would send traffic to their run club website, which is basically my website. And the same thing goes for any backlinks that get built for their run club in the future. Those would technically help my website grow in authority. But here is a simple website that I created with the website builder. And we can see that there's a hero section here, some headers and text around the location when certain runs happen. And we have some upcoming events. And these are all kind of calendar events that you can create that just tells people the date and time as well as the location. You can add some more details here if you want. But you can also just make it a paid event if you want to collect a fee for a 5k or whatever event that you're trying to throw. We have a little image gallery right here. And then we have a calendar of events if people want to have a ton of events and get a different visual. And then lastly, we have an email lead capture form for anyone who wants to collect their community emails and then send them an email blast. They can just start collecting those emails from this. But just check this out. There are so many cool little features that I added, some pre-built themes here that I designed. They don't look amazing, but if you preview it, then you can kind of see what it looks like. This is a dark theme here, so that's kind of cool. The template that I just showed you is one that I created from scratch, so I saved that template and I can load it again right over here. Uh, here are all the different components and you can see them here as well. Here's the hero section and you can kind of change the image. You can change the opacity, the alignment of the text, even the fonts and all of this cool stuff. Let's just say I wanted to make it red and make it really red. I could go ahead and do that by saving the draft and then previewing that. We have some spacers, we have headings that we can also change for SEO purposes, header one, two, and threes. So there's just so many small features that I had a lot of fun building. Little paragraph text, upcoming events widget, you can kind of display multiple if you want. Maybe you want two instead of three events. So we can preview this. And now it's going to show in two columns rather than three. We have an image gallery here where you can just add a bunch of images. You can change whether you want two or three or four columns. And then the calendar widget. And then lastly, the form, which you can kind of toggle between if you have multiple forms that you created. And then at the very end of this, I did add some SEO settings. So if people want to optimize your meta title, your meta descriptions, there's even this social media image where if someone Someone shares their website it's that little image that pops up which is kind of cool and then people can preview what their actual website will look like so this is phrase run club and that kind of gives you a visual so you can change things accordingly i just kept it really simple for the seo settings you can save them right here and then go about your build there's a ton of other features that i created and i think i will be paywalling some of them namely the payments area which i haven't really built out yet but i have built out the forms area you can create a form pretty easily you can add certain fields and then basically save it as a form. This section's for email campaigns. So if you do create a form and people start to fill it out and opt in to your email newsletter, then you can blast an email before a run event if you want, and then just kind of remind them that way. I think I will have a free tier where people can send 100 emails per month. And I just kind of set that cap by telling Claude Code, but this is pretty cool. Of course, we have our events calendar. So you can just create an event and then it'll show up on the very bottom. You can edit an event as well if you want to change any any times or locations. And this is just very clean and straightforward. So those are pretty much all the features, but I definitely spent the bulk of the time building out this website builder. I would say it took about two hours from literally starting my project folder to creating a very simple website builder. But of course, I just kept on building these little widgets that you can see right here, as well as these small features like this little opacity bar. All of these features were just things that I thought of and just prompted to Claude Code in plain English. So this website builder was definitely the bulk of the work for sure. I'll probably continue to make some improvements and build out all of these features and test them, make sure that they are working well before I go and build the directory. But one of the details that I wanted to mention in case you you decide to do this for a different niche, I had to figure out a way that this website that they created would get internal links because otherwise it might be very difficult to get indexed and rank on Google. By the way, this little black header area with fine clubs and dashboard is going to be invisible to website visitors, which I think is important because if you were to go and build a website, you wouldn't want this because it looks bad and it doesn't feel like you created a website for your own run club. I think as minimal as possible is the way to go. And yes, the breadcrumbs may 
make it look a little weird, but it's kind of hard to see. And I feel like it still kind of retains the vibe of a small website. So what's the game plan from here? Well, I'll probably continue to build the website builder, making sure it's as easy to use as possible and just making sure the payments, the emails and all the other features that I built work smoothly. And then it's time to build the actual directory. I don't think from my knowledge, there's one comprehensive running club directory out there that does a really good job mapping out local run clubs. I think there's a lot of potential there. And at that point, it's just trying to get the word out. I think this would go really well with a Reddit post, even social media. I think this would crush if I gave people the option to create their own website in their run club. So we'll see where it ends up going. I think the ultimate dream is to make a monetization method work that doesn't rely on ads and featured listings. I do think that this website builder can have some good upsells, like maybe I just paywall the payment capture feature. So if you do wanna charge for a run club event, then you can just pay 20 bucks a month which is way cheaper than the competitor, $45 a month. We'll see what happens, but that's kind of the plan for now. Hopefully you learned something, and if you needed inspiration to learn Claude Code, keep in mind, I've only been learning Claude Code for four months, and I basically built this in 24 hours. But with that, thanks for watching, grateful for your support, and I'll catch you in another video. See ya.